Okay, so we're going to put the script inside here. Now I'm actually just going to copy and paste this code rather than write this out, and I'll explain it to you. Okay, here it is. So variable of right one equals this. This is the string that is going to uh, be matched to the email that's entered. So let's have a look here. So for the first part of the email, before the at sign, you can have eighty seven capitals, eighty seven in lowercase. You can have naught to nine. You can have underscores and slashes and uh, the hyphens, whatever. And then next plus the at symbol. And then again, not tonight, uh, A to Z, etc. That we need uh, a dot, A to Z, A to Z, and it can be two to four characters after that. So that's the string that's going to validate that the email is going to be validated to. Now we need to tell it to validate it, because at the minute it's not validating anything. So we want if reg1, which is this. Test and now we want to email equals equals false. And then we want it to do something, don't we? So document dot get element by oops ID uh, want status. Set the source of the image if it doesn't match this equals images slash bad dot png. So this basically says if the email does not match this, then we're going to say that it's false. Then we want to give it an else if. So if it's not that. Uh, check if it's this. So reg dot one dot test email. If it if it equals true, so it equals equals true. We want to then carry out the next function. So we're actually just going to copy this here because this is basically what this bit is going to look like, and change this to the the image. You want it to be if the email is okay, so we're going to say okay. Then we just need to enter that, and for the hell of being neat, we're just going to move that over one. Okay, so that's basically all we need for the validation there. Next, we need to tell this form to uh, validate itself. So we're going to add some stuff to it. Don't matter where about if you add it really in here. I'm going to add it about there. So on key up so when the user lifts uh, press down the key and lifts up so after typing the letter we want it to check email I hope I didn't put uh, cheek check email this dot value so uh, check email is the name of this function here and it's going to use the value of this what's in this form we're also going to do this again for another event because this is only if they lift off a key if they're going to paste into this box that is this uh, particular method isn't going to work so after that we're going to add on blur uh, equals this exactly the same okay Oops. So it's going to do exactly the same thing. <laughs> and we're just going to, oops, forgot to add the line there. So just add that on there. That uh, should check our email. So if we save this, we'll see what errors we get. Okay, what did I do wrong? <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I see what I've done wrong. I forgot to end the script. Slash script. Okay, then that should, in theory, work. Here we go. So, if we do test, nothing. Dot test. So, actually, no. Test dot com. And it's validated now. The on blur bit. Now, um, if you paste it into here, 
it's not validated properly and it's on blur is if you click off the box so that's just making sure that it's definitely going to get validated otherwise you know if you've got the correct email in and it still says it's not validated you know that seems a bit wrong so that's basically it thank you for watching this tutorial i hope it helps you uh, please subscribe look out for future tutorials and if you've got a tutorial request please ask me yeah. i don't always know what to do for tutorials so if you could ask me uh, give me ideas then i'll be happy to try and help thank you